Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Greedfall Blind. I'm your host, Lasan Fay, and well, I'm probably gonna get myself killed again. Can protect me in this battle. May the shadow engulf our enemies. Your magic is running out. Take a potion. Uh. Really need is magic potion. Shadow engulf our enemies. Don't do it, sir. If next year, you've no magic. Drink a book. All right. Be careful. Your armor is falling apart. Yeah, um, buff that armor. have a good enough group for this. Um. Yeah. I know. Now you know what time of day and when I'm actually playing this. Um. But... Wait until nightfall and follow him. Um, yeah, I... No. Our... No... Petrus, I don't actually need you on my team. I'm hoping this will go a little more smoothly. Perhaps we could hide and wait here. Then we will be able to see where this sleepless boy goes during nightfall. Wake up, Greenblood. He's here. Okay. Yeah. How do y'all not get attacked by these things? Yeah, I always do. Unless there's something to be said for going this way. This could just totally screw me. And it does, lo and behold.
<sighs> Fell out of their range. Please tell me he's not getting further. Move away. Things are about to get dicey. With no magic left, drink a potion. I'm wounded. I need help. Okay, well, this looks like a ritual place. Oh, God. Where could our man have gone? He must have gone through this door made out of roots. Okay. Door made of roots. What's happening? You are so pale. Did the lightning struck tree speak to you? Yeah. In a way. I saw many images. They were so real. As if I was the tree itself. Do tell. This vision is surely the key to the portal. I was this tree. And my branches were shaken by a storm so strongly that they hurt terribly. The heavens caught fire several times, and I felt the lightning strike and pierce me through and through. A sinister warmth took hold of my entire body in an instant, and flames began to devour me. Life left me. All was calm, and I had a taste of cinder in my mouth. In spite of this, I continued to feel, and the rain began to fall on my roots. And at the very heart of my being, I felt the sap begin to flow again. A shoot appeared on my darkened roots. Then the vision dissipated. I have never experienced anything like it before. I... This stone bears the image of a storm. Or perhaps the wind. Okay. So, journal. Uh, anyway, I can get you to repeat that. Um, plants, guide, creatures, places.
The drawing on this stone represents lightning. Okay. Here. This looks like a snowflake. Snow or maybe ice. Nope. This stone is blackened, eaten away. I think it is supposed to evoke death. All right. This stone has an image of the moon. On this stone, the sun is visible. Okay. This drawing looks like an infant. Could it represent life? The drawing on this stone makes me think of fire. I'm certain. Okay. The drawing on this stone resembles a symbol that must represent the earth. This stone is adorned with the etching of a drop of water. Okay. So it was wind. Don't remember the moon and the sun. But I do remember life. Fire. The story of the tree is key. Try to remember. I was this tree, and my branches were shaken by a storm so strongly that they hurt terribly. The heavens caught fire several times, and I felt the lightning strike and pierce me through and through. Okay, Sinister warmth took hold of my entire body in an instant, and flames began to devour me. Life left me. All was calm. And I had a taste of cinder in my mouth. In spite of this, I continued to feel. And the rain began to fall on my roots. And at the very heart of my being, I felt the sap begin to flow again. A shoot appeared on my darkened roots. Then the vision dissipated. I have never experienced anything like it before. And then new life. Oh, crap. One more time. The story of the tree is key. Try to remember. I was this tree. And my branches Wind? were shaken by a storm so strongly that they hurt terribly. The heavens caught fire several lightning. times and I felt the lightning strike and pierce me through and through. A sinister warmth took fire. hold of my entire body in an instant. And flames began to devour me. Life left me death all was calm and i had a taste of cinder in my mouth in spite of this i continued to feel and the rain, rain began to fall on my roots and at the very heart of my being i felt the sap begin to flow again a shoot appeared on my darkened roots then the vision dissipated okay i have never experienced anything like it before you did it right. By awakening these stones in the right order, the door opened. Yay! Okay. Let's be sneaky. Also, perhaps by not having... Petrus with me. I won't have his commentary flavor my judgment. Quiet! Close Duis, Atuda Yam Canadedole. 
Tadulan Vrandi, Alone Les Agen Ole Vei. Klossi Garamam e Telami Ol Flinau Ich Egrem. Klossi Kedem Tayentis Ol Arabini A Ol Slei. Vanqua Sakengedem Fradema Digala. Like really not good for your hands. Like, do you realize how many tendons and stuff are there? Like, do you realize how many tendons and stuff are there? Benis Gremos Nigawi. Renkasie Krimadurem Denegao Edent. Klos Duis. A Ruyekt Nes Diri. Lois de Raman Ades Gideon. Arenta. As far no fradi, damagengadan ya diga la dandian. As far no fradi, thou e gaishidon. Ag as far no fradi, thou e gremos anagui. A strange ritual. I have never seen anything like it. The rituals of my village are not quite as scary. In any case, Tulemay's story suddenly sounds way more plausible. The Tulemayan who performed the ritual was the villagers. We should go talk to Dedra. And this time, I'm not bringing the priest with me. Uh, game? Well, there's a first time for everything. At least it didn't, like, insta-kill me when I fell through the world. I've definitely had that happen before in games. Alright. Game time for you to catch up with me. than just the nervous guy there. Why was he the only one that was followed? The others may have actually had an easier way. Uh, up the stairs. Okay, come on. Don't get stuck on the step. You're better than that, Desarde. Here to talk. What do you seek? We found your sanctuary and assisted in one of your blood rituals. Was the apparition we witnessed the demon the priests were talking about? What is clear is these priests know nothing and you know nothing. The ritual. I've never seen anything like it. I hoped you'd be able to explain what they were trying to achieve. As you can see, my companion is not a Renaigze like the others. She bears our likeness. Please share your knowledge with us. Grant us the chance to understand. I'm so glad I have you. Very well. I'll attempt to help you make sense of what you witnessed. The ritual you saw is a ceremony to summon forth the strength of our warriors. Our people have always lived in harmony with nature. Our very existence revolves around her. She talks to us and takes on many faces. What you have witnessed is just one of many. Confronting the threat that the Renoixi make up, we called them for their blessing, and they appeared to us. Can we contact them? 
I mean, is communication possible? What you witnessed was not a discussion. But if you visit a sanctuary, you may see one of the faces, and then you will be able to talk. Pass the mountains and head to the swamps. There, if you perform the ritual, you will see them come. Though what you will hear may not be to your liking. If I can even understand what I heard. Um, do you want it to speak? What do you seek? Uh, I guess not. I need to be going. Well, well, I'm sick. Be well. Thank you, Siora. Probably saved us a lot of frustration there. Also, I don't even know what ritual I'm supposed to be performing. Okay, it just doesn't like a lot of people. I get it. Um... Oh, let me put Petrus in the party before I talk to you. Or... Uh, Compose, team... How might I help you? Okay, I guess. That will be all, Sister Ephesia. Thank you. There. Petrus, I solved your problem. I... I don't... really want that? At least not right now. Um, an ancient secret. Ask about the ruins among the miners. God, there's still so much of this place I have yet to see. I haven't found any of these. Um... You know what? Sure. I may do that. Um. In which case, I'm still gonna put a tank back in my party. Remove. Add. Confirm. Because I, I do not enjoy being squishy. Alright. Come, we're going. I do like the fact that you can kind of just loot things and keep walking, though. They've done that rather well. Oh my god, seriously? Almost a day. 
Let's walk around. And everyone wants to talk. I think for the most part I've gotten people handled at least once. Have I not? I haven't been here before. Oh shit, these things are gonna kill me, aren't they? Yeah, at least I don't have anything time sensitive. We'll deal with stuff after I clear some stuff off the list. Oh, lovely. How far do I have to go? Far! Or not that far. Why did you tell me to go here, game? So to my left. Oh wait, hang on. That's right. Uh, Jertle, hi. Right, that one I can't do. Siora! Let us go convince other villages that they should work together. This is kind of cool. I mean, wow, that's, oh man, that's like perfectly framed as well. That waterfall with like the bird, eagle, Bear, snake heads, yeah. Like, the center one definitely looks more like a snake. The one on the left kind of looks like it has a bird like beak, like, like an eagle. Oh. Like, that's actually, like, really well framed. Um, for entering the village. So that's an intimidating sight. Like, pretty and gorgeous, but an intimidating sight. Hi. What are you doing here, and I say? Your coin are not welcome in my village. Well... What can you tell me about your village? 
Why would I talk to a Renaixe about the Gook Sop? All you need to know is that this name means the village of Black Urgs. They are our friends and our companions, and like them, we do not like to be disturbed. I see. Anything else? Yeah. Ulan, the king of Vignamri, wants to establish a trade agreement and sign a peace treaty with the governor of Hikmet. This sounds like something he would do. All he ever thinks about is picking up the crumbs left behind by the Renaixe. All of that in hope of breeding new life into his village, while insulting the memory of the deceased men and women who lived there. Hikmet's emissary will only sign if their merchants can move freely and in peace. They want to meet you. I am not like him. I am a Donea Exregal. A proud man, not a slug. The Renaixe cannot be trusted. They are deceitful and only seek to trap us. Could let Siora handle it. I could utilize my charisma. The Donea Exregau I have met were fearless, and yet you were running away from a mere meeting. By refusing to negotiate, you are only showing weakness, nothing else. Oh, not Fradi. The worst part is that you are right. <laughs> we cannot refuse this meeting without appearing weak. Fine. I will meet Ulan and his emissary, but I will not go to his village. Tell them to find me at Lambristel. I will be there in a few hours. I will tell them right away. Thank you, Mordun. Okay. You really know how to talk to people. I never thought you would be able to convince Mordun. Gee, His anger thanks. towards the Renaixe is so strong. Thanks, Siora. That's why you were here, just in case. Yep. Those are yours, all right. All right. Where am I getting to? weird that it won't just let me use any fast travel point but oh man how do I leave this way or not this way no Come on. Follow the wall. Right, because there was that cave and, like, the really well-framed entrance. I wish it wasn't quite so blown out from further back, but I know lighting balance is hard. So there is my camp. There is a fast travel point. There is another one. But something tells me I'm going to have to go elsewhere. So. 
so we're kind of... Gonna go? Uh... On an adventure? Show you no magic left. Yep, just take it all. So at the very least, if we're gonna kill them, we may as well make use of everything. similar to where I met Afra. side of the water. Mm. Oh. Okay, otherwise I'm gonna forget about it. nice. No. Yep, sorry. I'm gonna startle you. Just right here. All right. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and leave this episode here. I want to thank you all so much for tuning in. And in the meantime, in between time, take care, have fun, and happy trails.